This lesson is about how to use the cage system for your augmented triads. What a lot of people get wrong about augmented is that they try to just take one shape and invert it symmetrically in major thirds. Let's say I'm taking an arbitrary shape for it, this one. And then I just take it a major third away. And another major third away. It's true, I played all of my inversions of this thing, but I just sliced the guitar neck up into three parts. Chunk one, two, and three. And that tends to be not enough in the heat of the moment when you're playing over a bunch of chord changes. What I suggest you do is use the cage system to slice the neck up into five pieces. So let's just go over caged shapes in F. I made a whole video about that. That's going to be wherever Nick puts it, somewhere up there. Uh, but the first E shape, I'm not going to go deep into that here, but just I'll show you that I can morph it to become that augmented E shape by going and sharpening the fifth degrees, right? So I have one, three, sharp five, one, three, sharp five, one. Now, if I take a look at the D shaped major and I turn that into an augmented, it's right here. Aha! Uh -huh. Now here's that C shaped major. To make it augmented, I play it right here. So that shape does repeat, right? That's that E shape again for the C. That's fine. Here I have this A shape. What do I do? See, two notes on the A string to kind of keep it in line here. Next shape, that G shape. Here I'm going to play two notes on the B string. And then I'm back to the top. So I have shape one. Shape two, shape three, shape four, shape five. And if I have that as my basis, if I want to add a seventh or a flatted seventh, it gives me the basic skeleton shape for the triad that I can really expand upon later. Hope you dig this. Subscribe, like the page, leave a comment, ring the bell. We'll see you next time. Come back. There's much more content coming.